This video will give you a brief overview of five hybrid learning models for teaching, where students alternate between e-learning at home and in-person days at school. While there is no one perfect approach, an overview of these models is intended to help teachers think strategically about designing learning experiences to best meet the needs of their students. Perhaps the most common model for hybrid learning is the split AB model. In this model, most direct instruction happens on the days students are in school. Students spend most of their e-learning days completing asynchronous assignments. Just like its name suggests, the flip hybrid model moves direct instruction to e-learning days in the form of pre-recorded video lessons. It's intended to maximize time for interaction on in-person days for things like labs, discussions, guided practice, and simulations. Next, let's take a look at what John Spencer calls the dynamic hybrid model. It's a more traditional approach where a new lesson is taught every day. All students, whether at home or in school, participate in the same lesson. Students at home can participate in class synchronously via live video streaming of the class, or they can participate asynchronously through a recording of the class. Author Catlin Tucker shared a great adaptation of the station rotation model for hybrid learning. In this model, students at home would participate synchronously with students in class. Teachers split the students into groups, with the first group consisting of students who are joining class virtually at home. In-person students are divided into the other two groups. Groups then rotate through a series of three stations. A teacher-led station where students participate in things like small group instruction, skill building, and remediation. Unlike a traditional station rotation model, the students stay in one place while the teacher moves to each group when it's their turn for the teacher-led station. At-home groups join this station through breakout groups using a video conferencing tool like WebEx. From the teacher-led station, groups move to the online station where they participate in things like personalized practice, research and exploration, multimedia lessons, or even some form of collaboration online. The third station is the offline station where students participate in off-screen activities like small group discussion, labs and experiments, active reading, and writing. The last model we'll share is A.J. Giuliani's needs-based approach to the FLIP model. Just like the FLIP model, most direct instruction happens at home through pre-recorded video lessons. The teacher starts in-person classes with a brief five-question pre-assessment covering the video lesson that was completed at home. Students are then divided into groups based on their pre-assessment score. Students answering less than two questions correctly rewatch the video lesson using a teacher-created handout with new questions. They're given multiple types of questions to answer and activities to complete. After about 30 minutes, the teacher answers questions and gives the entire group some new questions to answer. Students then answer questions individually and, if successful, move to Tier B. Students in Tier B work with a partner or in small groups to refine some skills and concepts together. They use the teacher or the video lesson as a resource. After about 30 minutes in Tier B, students take another formative assessment. Those answering 80% of the questions correctly move to Tier C. Students remaining in Tier B continue working with partners or groups, with the teacher helping as needed until they complete the next formative assessment. Students in Tier C work on a higher level challenge that provides them with options and choice to move from application to higher level thinking. They help new students as they transition into Tier C and help students in Tier B move to Tier C by the end of class. Special thanks to AJ Giuliani, John Spencer, and Catlin Tucker, whose work this video is based on. Visit the link on your screen to learn more about hybrid learning models.